Hey y'all, so I'm going to be showing you how to mod Spelunky 2. Uh, your first thing you're going to need to do is get the Mod Lunky program, which will be uh, in the description. You can find a link there. Once you have that downloaded, you just click this EXE here to download it. Uh, put that in your Spelunky 2 folder, which should be in Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Spelunky 2. Go ahead and run that, and it'll take a second just to open up here. Once this is open, it'll say it's running off of an IP address. It's usually just this by default always. Go ahead and type that into your browser. I already have it up here and you'll get a fun little UI. At the moment, it only has two functions, which is spawning entities and asset management. Asset management is what we're going to be doing for now. Find your Spelunky2.exe or Spell2.exe file and click it, select it on the menu and hit the extract button. Once you hit the extract button, it's going to take a little bit to extract everything. You can take a look at the console here and it'll give you updates. Once it's done, it'll tell you when uh, at the end. And then you can go in back into your Splunky 2 folder and you should have a folder called mods. Crack open mods and you'll have extracted and overrides. Extracted is going to be your raw Splunky 2 files, which you can take and then uh, edit. The overrides file is going to be where you put your new mods. So for example, we can go into extracted. And the first thing here is the string 00 uh, file, which you can use to change the words in uh, the beginning of the game or the menu letters, anything like that. Once you've finished that, you can just copy this and go back to the mods, go into overrides, and then copy it into here. You can see I have my own string 00, zero file, and I have my own edits in here. Uh, you can also do textures in data, textures, and then they go into here. As you can see, I've got my logo as my splash screen. If you want to modify the textures for the game, you're going to want to head into your Spelunky 2 mods extracted folder, head into data and then textures, and then in here is every texture file in the whole game. If you're new to the game or newish, ish uh, beware, there are spoilers in here. Every single texture in the game is here. But let's say we want to uh, edit uh, Rafi, one of the base characters. What you'll do is this image here, you'll copy it, pull it into Photoshop or your editing program of choice, and then you'll want to edit each of these sprites. So if you're unfamiliar with how sprites work, essentially these are each frame of the animation. You'll need to make sure everything lines up nice so it doesn't get shaky in-game. So for example, if you want to give him a funny little mustache, you'll have to make sure it's very similar on each one. This would look shaky. Once you're done editing your sprites, you save it as a PNG file and make sure that the name is the same. So for Rafi, for example, the name of the file is car underscore black dot PNG. It has to be the exact same name. Go ahead and save that. Head back into the mods folder, into overrides, data, textures, and then slap it in there. Once you're done making your changes to the files, select your spell2.exe folder and copy it and then paste it. You'll want an extra copy in case anything happens to the game or if this breaks anything. So that way, uh, if there's any issues with your repackaged folder, you can just go back to the old one and there's no problems. After that, reload Mod Lunky, which is the console here, and then go back to the UI page under Asset Management and hit the Repack button at the bottom. This section will auto-populate with any changes you've made. Once you hit the Repack button, the console will start going active and it'll tell you all the changes it's making. And just like before, at the very end, it'll tell you once it's done. After that, you're able to launch Spelunky straight from Steam and all of your changes should be in the game. Keep in mind that you're going to have to redo this anytime there's a Spelunky update because it'll override all of the changes you made previously. So keep your overrides folder on hand just in case. I hope this helped. Uh, if it did, spread it around to other people in the community. Uh, modding Spelunky is something that's, you know, super exciting. And uh, I, I hope this gets around. All right. Thank you. Bye.